Greetings YouTubers, this is Jace for Marshall Made Collectibles and today we're doing a review on another uh, fine product from our friends over at ACI Toys. Today we're doing the Lord of the Rings Ring Wrath figure. Um, there is two different versions that came out on this figure. There's a standard and an exclusive. The ex exclusive you'll notice, uh, and I'll show some pictures and posts too of uh, the other because I ended up with two of these. Uh, the exclusive has a circle right here and it lets you know uh, that it's an exclusive and it comes with an extra sword. The standard edition comes with just one broadsword and one dagger. So if you get the standard and you look at that second tray and you see that empty spot where like another sword would be, you're not missing an item. That's just where the uh, exclusive version would have the extra sword. It comes in a really nice plain blue box. It almost has like a leather look to it. Um, and uh, just really nice detail. It is a magnetic flap. You turn to the side and we have a really cool picture of the Ring Wrath figure holding out his sword standing on his base. On the back of the box we have uh, just basically the title of the figure, what are the highlights of the, the figure he comes with. He comes with fully detailed articulate die cast armor including forearm armor, leg armor, and feet armor. He has a realistic design, a die cast sword and dagger, a black cloak and robe, a handmade vintage effect for each individual set, ACI Toys medium built body, it's a Christian body, and it has over 30 points of articulation and he comes with a display stand. The only difference, like I said, that would be different if you had the, uh, the um, exclusive version would be the, broads, the extra broadsword, which on the back picture here that's the broadsword that uh, you're not getting if you got the standard edition. Again, you have all the stuff from New Line Cinemas, ACI, and uh, it's distributed by the company Seven, which has been uh, handling all their products here lately. Again, we got another picture of the figure holding the sword. And then on the front, again, just a nice plain blue box. If you haven't picked up this figure yet, chances are you're going to have a hard time finding them. ACI had the license for Lord of the Rings and they were only able to produce two figures. They were able to produce this and Aragon and uh, this Ringwrath figure they only ended up with 800 units for the US before they ended up selling out and they're not going to get a chance to make another batch of them before the license ran out. So anyway let's go ahead and open him up. Yeah like I said it's a magnetic flat box. When you open it up you have uh, little saying here from uh, the Lord of the Rings you have some really nice uh, artwork on this side and it's of the Ring Wrath figure itself and this is just a flap that comes off and then we have the foam and then up underneath we have the blister of the Ring Wrath figure itself Go ahead and take this out. And it's a three tray system. Let's go ahead and move that back. And in the first tray, you have the Ring Wrath figure. And I, I'll, let me go ahead and tell you right off the bat for those that, that haven't got this yet or haven't had it in hand, this figure has got some weight to it. Those die cast armor parts on the lower legs and the upper arms make this figure extremely heavy. You also have these little cords and these are like bendy wires. And what you can do is you can intertwine them into the figure's cloak so you can may have that free flowing look, make it look like uh, parts of his robes are just going everywhere. And you end up with um, three extra hands besides the two hands that are already on the figure. The two hands on the figure right now are the gripping hands that he gets shipped with. Then you have two different left hands. The, both of them are like in an open pose and then you have a right extra hand which is also in an open pose go ahead and show you the different swords. We also get some nice little paperwork here basically explaining how to work the wires through the robe to get that free flowing. He comes with a really nice stand uh, and it's a crotch holding stand but you get a nice almost uh, like a dungeon floor or medieval type base. He has his dagger 
and then you have the broad sword that he comes with. Like I said, if he came with the other sword, that would be the exclusive version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take him out of his clam, and we're going to do some pictures here at the end, and then I'll come back and give you some final thoughts on, uh, on the figure itself. So I'll go ahead and close and say this is definitely a must get if you're a Lord of the Rings fan. A very cool figure. I love the way they did almost a hollowed out head sculpt, which is basically the hood that goes around and it gives that illusion that the cloak is empty, that there's nothing there, almost like a ghost armor. Um, ACI really knocked it out of the park on this one and almost wish they would have held on to that license because I really would have loved to seen uh, what they would have done with uh, some of the other characters. The Aragon figure, if you have a chance to see it, it has the head sculpt that looks like Vigo Morrison and the head sculpt is just dead on. It's a really great figure. So anyway, thank you for watching and uh, take care. Mm -hmm.